student. So I think hypothesis helps to kind of break the reading down and scaffold it as well as allowing students to comment on an ongoing basis as we were moving through that text. And then I used it for an academic article, which they don't have a lot of experience reading in Spanish. But as I mentioned before, probably 80% of the students in our upper division Spanish classes are Spanish speakers with a high level of proficiency. So I thought this is a, a good way to challenge them with this kind of language because they're not gonna voluntarily read an academic article. So we used an article talking about the history of misogyny in different um, Spanish language texts, literature. Sor Juana was the text that, one of the texts that we were looking at. And it was a really good experience for the students and for me because they felt a sense of accomplishment. They were able to read these articles, whereas in the past when I tried to do something like that, nobody read that. I had to end up summarizing the article for them, which is okay, but it's not the same. It's not the same experience for them. So being able to scaffold a reading, break it down and have them comment on it. I would have them um, comment on vocabulary that they had had to look up um, and give definitions of words that they looked up, as well as trace trace the development of misogyny through the article and how the author was uh, bringing that forward and critiquing that idea. So it was, it turned out to be a really uh, beneficial tool for the, for the students and for me because it was satisfying to see that they were working with the reading, grappling with the difficult concepts and, and doing it on their own.